This is the only level. Weird game. A couple people requested me to do this one. Uh, if you've seen my playthrough of Achievement Unlocked, this will be very familiar to you. If you haven't, go watch that one, or go play it, actually, but, um... Yeah, you, the, the, there's only one level, and you just gotta keep doing it. Like, it changes a gimmick each time. This one you gotta move with the, by clicking. This one, you float. And I am trying my very hardest to beat this game with no deaths. Came pretty close a couple times. Uh, okay, can I get through this without hitting those spikes? I don't know. There we go. Uh, Here you gotta bounce on the spikes. The name is Dull Appearances, kinda hence charge that. Here you can't touch the lighter ones. Oh my god. I almost... I want it, let me jump. I don't want to die. Okay. Just gotta be careful on that one. This one, I uh, gotta move with the arrow. It's very sensitive, and you click to jump. The next one I gotta be prepared for, because there's a strong headwind that will blow you into the spikes and kill you immediately. So you just gotta be ready to hold right and jump as soon as possible, or else you will die. I hate that one. But it's not the one that I keep dying on. This one, I uh, can't hold, you can't go left. Not a problem. This one, you can't jump. Again, not a problem. And this one, you just gotta keep tapping left and right. I like that one, it's kinda stupid. Uh, this one, you only get one jump, so you gotta make it count. Luckily, when you play the level enough times, you remember exactly how to do it. This one you have to refresh the load of the page. And there we go. And now the door's open. And I uh, gotta keep hitting it, as it says. And eventually it will open. Who would have guessed? Read about nothing. I think that this one has no hazards. I'm not sure, though. This one has an annoying hazard. The floor collapses, and the button does not open the door, so to get to the end, you have to fall through the floor like that. And now, what do we have? Oh yeah, the laggy one. Which reminds me of all the lag I was having earlier today when I was trying to record N. I was having so much trouble with that, because Windows Media Player was being a jerk. I was trying to have background music and stuff. But yeah, I cannot really record anything on this computer. It, it's getting worse. So, hopefully that other one will be fixed soon. Now what do we got? The invisible one. Just gotta go for it, like that. Uh, here, you gotta be careful because some of this, some of these tiles move you down, some of them move you up. And you don't want to hit those spikes, that would be a bad thing. I mean, you have infinite lives and stuff, but come on, I'm going for zero deaths here. This one, uh, if you don't know, will probably screw you over. There's an invisible wall somewhere in there, you gotta go high to avoid it. Here, the controls are on T, F, G, and H instead of the arrow keys. Uh, this one's kind of pointless. You just get to the end like normal, and then you hold the caps lock key to open the door for you. This one, the door opens when it feels like it. Which I managed to get in without them. That was nice. Or is it? Yeah, the wall doesn't want to go away in this one. That's okay, because it's fake. And 
here you gotta look at the credit page, so gotta go back to the menu, check out the credits, unlock tw stage 27, and there we go. Is the next one the huge one? I think it might be, yeah. This one always makes me worried a little bit. Okay, got through it. So I should be fine now, I don't think I'm gonna be losing any other levels. That one, the door just closes if you take too long. And the one that goes dark. Is that it? Yes! Yes, it is. Okay. Hooray, I finally did it. It only took me like a freaking half an hour of saying the same commentary every single time, but whatever. Um, I could have tried speedrunning that game. It wouldn't have been very interesting. What I did right now is pretty close to one anyway. I'm not sure how fast you can do this game. I don't really want to try. Anyway, this was just a spur-of-the-moment recording, and I'm done, and I'm staying on this screen for a long time. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to be doing Mystery of Time and Space. I'm not sure how many segments that'll be. Probably at least three. So, see you for that.